What's going on everybody? I'm Tom Cruise of Geek Boots Military Nerds and here today I'm giving you my review of Joker. And because I'm a cosplayer, I don't have any Joker cosplays, but I do have Red Hood, so... Jason. Yes. I don't want to fight you. All evidence to the contrary. Let's get into it. And a giant shout out to LK Designs. That's LK.designs with a Z on Instagram. He hooked me up with this amazing intro because I am the host of Geek Boots Military Nerds. So I figured I'd throw it on my YouTube channel. He is also behind our super dope amazing logo, which will be available soon for purchase. So yeah, thank you LK. Um, I'm going to be using it in my videos. Let's get back to it. First things first, we're going to do a spoiler free review and then we're going to dive into the spoilers. So cause I'm too lazy to make two videos. I'm not that awesome. Anyway, with that being said, I give this movie a solid 10 for 10, five out of five, all those kinds of ratings. I absolutely love this movie. It was fantastic. Um, do I recommend it? Yes. Is it like your stereotypical Joker movie? They're diving into the psyche and what makes them so crazy. There's bits and pieces that make you think about the Joker from the comic books. There are certain elements that they took from the comics. I'm sure you've all seen the trailer where he's coming out on stage on a talk show. That's straight out of the comic books. So, Walking Phoenix coming back and he just blew this out of the park. You haven't lost your touch. Fantastic movie. Um, I saw it twice. I just finished it last night. It's for the second time. It's fantastic. I absolutely love this movie. Great experience. Really gets you thinking. I highly recommend it. And to just simply comment before we go into the spoiler review. If you're seeing a lot of articles that say this movie is horrible, if you're saying this, seeing a lot of articles that say a lot of people are saying, oh my God, it's too much. I honestly have to say, I think that's all a bunch of clickbait and uh, a means to make memes because I'm not seeing the physical evidence of people actually saying these things. If you are a person who didn't enjoy this movie, feel free to comment on this video so that I can see this proof that people were like, that movie was horrible, or how dare they glorify this and that. I would love to see that. But without further ado, let's get into the spoilers. Um, yeah. Hello. So glad you could make it. This ends tonight. All of it. Nobody knows that better than me. Cool, so you're still here, which means you're, you've seen it before already or you don't care if I apparently ruin your life by spoiling a movie for you. This movie, the biggest thing that I loved about this movie is that you, I mean, there are some scenes, but you almost get this vibe of what is real and what is just in his head. Um, you, you get the sense that there are certain things that are obviously just in his head, like Zazie Beetz's character, the love interest, when you find out closer to the end, oh, hey, <laughs> she was never there. <laughs> so <laughs> just saying, so there was that, that was, that was pretty intense. Um, but there's a lot of other elements to this movie that make you think like, okay, just as a fact, as a, my favorite part that makes you think about this whole movie is at the beginning of the movie, when he's first talking to his therapist or a psychiatrist, whatever you want to call her. And they reference that well, he and she referenced that he had been in a psych ward already once before. So with that, and then they show a scene of him in the pad, the, the cell banging his head up against the freaking um, little window on the door. But they don't say how he got out. I don't know about you guys, but unless someone says the reason as to why, 
I'm under the impression we're about to have a, like a psychological thriller like Shutter Island and realize that he never, he was never left the, the psych ward or what have you. So that was pretty fascinating to uh, witness that and think about that. And then I'm co having conversations with my girlfriend and she brings up some interesting points that thinking back to it now, yeah, these are really good points. So there, any time a clock is present in the movie, it always reads 11. From the clock he punches to a clock earlier on in the movie, it reads 11, which begs the question of, is this all part of the things that are in his head? Because fast forward to the ending where he's sitting in that room, I think there are parts of this movie where things did happen, but then there's a lot of parts in this movie that are just him thinking about it, but he's still acknowledging his current surroundings. The paint job of his apartment with his mother, it all had the same color or the same like patterns on it. And there was a lot of brick wall pattern. Um, with the with the lines going everywhere So that was something to keep in mind But I will say that I think the things that really did happen are any moment he is in clown makeup I think those are moments because those moments have the most prominent Setting, you know, they're they don't have anything that has a similarity with everything around him uh, and the psych ward wise so it was very fascinating to see it. it really, it's a movie that's thought provoking because not in just the psyche, the politics, the, you know, glorifying a villain. If that's what you really want to say, this movie's doing. No, it, it's thought provoking because it makes you think about the scene and how they filmed it. And this is kind of like, and I appreciate Joaquin's response to this, at much like Quentin Tarantino, whenever you ask Quentin Tarantino about his movies, is simply, Quentin's response usually is to tell you, no, 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 you tell me what you think, which is the beauty of the art. Um, and much like his comments when he's doing the talk show with uh, Robert De Niro, um, he says that's all it is is subject it's subject that's all it is you know and that's brilliant i freaking loved it now of course i have to admit this is one of those moments where you you sit there and you say oh i get it but i i don't i don't appreciate the method to the madness i also have to say that if you're one of the types of people who said i I really understood and feel for the guy or you're worried people are going to be feeling for the guy in that manner. My response to you is simply don't worry about it because the entire time I watched the movie, I kept, <laughs> whether it was subtle or in your face, it was a conversation that they had. He's clinically insane. He has mental problems. He's been diagnosed. So unless you are diagnosed or worried of being diagnosed, you shouldn't have a problem. You really shouldn't have a problem with this movie. Um, my last thoughts are, I have, my biggest question is, leaving the movie, what did he do to her in her apartment room? He goes into the room, he's sitting there, they do their scene, and then he looks at her and he just goes, and the thumb never comes down. They just zoom in on his face and cuts to the next shot of him leaving and just the impending horror music that starts blasting as he's leaving the apartment was just, you know, and then you don't see her for the rest of the movie. And yeah, popcorn kernel. Again, saw it last night. It begs the question of what just happened. <laughs> so... But um, yeah, and, and another thing to keep in mind is that the transition between scenes that makes you really question whether or not it was real or not was how at the end of every scene, the way he would pose himself into the beginning of every scene, it would be this, of the next scene, 
would be the same pose really begs the question of what was real, what wasn't real. Um, things he wish he had done, um, you know, what have you, whatever goes on in his head. Um, anyway, I am Tom Cruise Cosplay. This was my individual full analysis of the movie Joker. Please stay tuned and check out Geek Boots on their YouTube channel, on the podcast where we have debates and discussions about things. Um, we'll bring up Joker and we will also talk about mental illness because we are veterans. Mental illness is something that's very prominent. I'd like to give a shout out to the Mission 22. Uh, check it out, donate. All proceeds go to veterans and veterans programs to help them get the help that they need. Um, another popcorn kernel. I love you all. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Stay tuned because I am finishing up a book review. Um, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hands on the controller, shaking fingers poised over the button, each tip glistening with sweat and quivering in anticipation of the moment in which you push the button!